and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Rome. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I am so excited because I haven't been here in like over 10 years or more actually. Probably over 15 years. I came here when I was very, very young and it feels good to be back. We got here on a beautiful day, no clouds in the sky, and we arrived around two, three hours ago, dropped off our bags at Airbnb, which is in kind of a residential area, and then we came to Trastavere to have kind of like a late lunch, early dinner. We were able to get in line for this amazing restaurant, and it's supposed to be really, really good, so we're gonna go eat now, and then we're gonna go try to catch the sunset. So let's get this travel vlog started, and let's go eat some yummy food. I got everything for um, pistachio, but it's delicious. Cheers! Mm. We just got gelato from Frigidatium and it was so good. I love pistachio gelato. We walked over to Piazza Navona, which is right next door to where we were, and it's really cute at night. So here's what it looks like. <laughs> Going to the Coliseum this morning. We woke up really early at like 7 a.m. and went on a run in the park right in front of our Airbnb, which was so gorgeous. So happy we did that. And we just had a very quick breakfast at this little coffee bar called La Licata, which is like a five minute walk from the Coliseum because our entry time is at 9.20 and we're a couple minutes late now, but we're here, we made it, and I'm so excited. Look at this. There are quite a lot of people here right now. I'm feeling pretty overstimulated, not gonna lie. There's just like a lot of people, a lot of noise, crowded like corners. And the Coliseum itself is like, some parts of it is just walls. So you can't really see the inside. Like where we are right now, for example, it's like this. It's just a wall in front of me. Just being honest over here, just making me feel a little crowded in, but we're gonna find a good spot to stand in. Pedro's listening to the audio guide to learn more about the Coliseum. I was gonna do it, but it was contributing to too much stimulation for me, so just absorbing. Absorbing energy, looking at the view. Yeah. 
we came to the Roman Forum and Pedro just quickly bought our tickets online, which was super easy, right? Yeah, it was easy. It's right across from the Colosseum. Pretty quick on their website. Yeah, just make sure to bring your passport. making a pit stop for lunch. We came to Mariucha, which is another spot I had found on TikTok. And I'm so happy that we came at the time we came and everything seems to be working out perfectly because we got a table and we're about to order food. And I'm so hungry and I'm so excited to eat and the food looks really good. So, we're excited. We're just gonna get this one. This pizza is massive. Nice meatballs. Lunch was literally delicious and it was the perfect quantity of food. Now we're gonna have dessert at Mr. 100 Tiramisu, which essentially has a hundred different types of tiramisu. And I'm so excited because tiramisu is one of my favorite desserts of all time. And they supposedly have a very, very good pistachio tiramisu. My mouth is already watering in advance, so let's go. We came to the Pantheon. It's very impressive. And it's so funny because this whole trip I've been like, oh, is that the Pantheon? Is that the Pantheon? Like looking at different monuments. And when we arrived here, I literally had an instant memory unlocked from my brain of when I was like eight, nine years old and I was here in Rome. Came here with my parents and I remember we sat in this little plaza in front of the fountain and then we had dinner. And I just have such vivid memories of this place. So it's so funny that that's exactly the monument that I kept asking Pedro, like, is that the Pantheon? Is that the Pantheon? <laughs> but we're here now. And our phones are dying. I'm at 16% and Pedro is at like 2%. And we don't have a portable charger. So we'll see what we do about that. Look at the Chevy Fountain. So beautiful. <laughs> Wow, there are literally so many people here. It's crazy. It's insane. so much better up here it's a lot less crowded quick update we went to the trevi fountain and it was so packed but we were actually able to get close to the front and a really sweet girl took a picture of us and it turned out really cute like if you looked at that picture you would think there was literally no one there but it was so packed and it was really funny we walked over to the spanish steps which are really close the Trevi Fountain, like less than a 10 minute walk. We're catching the last little bit of sun that is hitting the top. It looks really nice. Like it's so, so crowded in the bottom part of the plaza. And then up here, it's a lot less crowded. And now we're gonna go all the way up and take a look. Let's go check it out. Vibes are real good right now. This golden hour is so pretty and we're gonna go get a little up for all on this rooftop right here. So, I'm excited.
golden hour, sunset spritz. You guys, I'm such a lightweight. I literally had a one apro spritz and I'm so tipsy. I'm like, let's go get a tattoo right now. No, you didn't. I said that. Well, yeah, but then I was like, I would totally get a tattoo right now. I did end up getting a spontaneous tattoo and I'm happy about it even though my arm is slightly sore and now we are at Alfredo Alasco now we are at Alfredo Alastrofa, which is where the original Petitini Alfredo was invented. We're definitely gonna have some Petitini Alfredo, of course. The ordering will be pretty simple tonight. Fried artichokes. I am about to have the fettuccine alfredo, so there's a step that is missing, which is taking my bye-bye bloat. This has been an essential throughout this trip for all the dairy. It has like some digestive enzymes and like herbs like peppermint and ginger, fenugreek. It's like, it's gonna give me a little help with the dairy. <laughs> Good morning you guys, it's our last full day in Rome. We are back at the park that we came yesterday morning to run at. It's called Villa Pamphili. It's such a beautiful day, no clouds in the sky. There is a little cafe right here, so we're gonna try to get breakfast there. It's 11, so it's gonna be a very late breakfast. And there's a ton of runners and people around the park, which is so cool to see and we're gonna have a pretty chill day today so let's get it started full brunch we got eggs with bacon and toast a little side of pancakes and then some yogurt with granola that we already started eating guys we're having such a chill lovely day today we walked essentially through the park and it was so beautiful we had the most amazing brunch the park is just so gorgeous and we were just talking about how yesterday was such a jam-packed day like we did so much in one day and it was really really overstimulating for me and overwhelming to my nervous system and so today we wanted to do something a little bit more relaxing and it has been just so amazing so we walked through the park we're on our way to the vatican and we just stopped by this kind of viewpoint and statue that are so gorgeous what are the names belvedere del Gianicolo. belvedere del Gianicolo. so we're just soaking it all up also, Hera got poop in her jacket. I wanted to take pictures laying in the grass, so somehow I got pooped. <laughs> We're at the Vatican, we're here on a Sunday and so we checked online the times for all the masses. There was like one every hour until 1 p.m. and then there was nothing from 1 p.m. until 4.30 p.m. or something like that. So we were like, let's try to go around 2, 3 p.m. and we manifested it and it's probably a lot less crowded than it would be at any other time of day. And it's also such a beautiful time of day because it's kind of golden hour right now. So now we're going to explore and just kind of walk around. Pedro's first time at the Vatican.
example, you guys, we came to dinner at Osteria de la Fortunata, which is a very iconic spot in Rome. They literally have a whole block, essentially, with like four different of their restaurants. And we were able to show up and just get a table. It's 5 p.m. So we're gonna have an early dinner and then head back to Airbnb in a little while. But we just ordered our food, so it should be here soon. where we had dinner. I thought it was so worth the hype. I wasn't sure if we should go there and we were like teetering between that and another place and I'm so happy we went. The carbonara was, but I also really liked the lamb. I was hesitant about it, but it was so flavorful and like kind of like buttery and just so good. We were taking a look at my list that I made before coming on the trip and essentially we went to six of the seven top restaurants that I wanted to make sure we went to without basically reservations. We just had reservations for one of them. And so that was a huge success and now we're going to go to the 7th which is this place that has really good gelato called La Romana and it's literally 0 0.1 miles from where we were having dinner so we're going to go for our final gelato in Italy before we leave tomorrow. guys that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed our rome adventures rome was a dream and i don't know if i mentioned this in this video but i actually studied abroad in milan and my study abroad was cut short because of the pandemic i had to go home and i didn't have my study abroad at all and so this was my first time being back in italy since that happened and it just filled me up with so many powerful emotions it made me feel so excited it made me feel so grateful to be back i love italy i had a lot of fun practicing my italian and just being in the italian culture and it made me a little bit sad in some ways like it definitely felt bittersweet to be in italy i just felt like a grief for the experiences i didn't get to have in my abroad but i'm so happy that we were able to come and have this amazing vacation and travel and now we're on our way to brazil for the holidays so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did definitely let me know in the comments if you're not yet subscribed join my youtube family so you can be the loop of all my future videos i love you all so so much and i will see you very soon with another video Mwah!